Hey everyone, welcome back to the Tech Twins. I'm Andrew and this video is all about five resume tips based on the resumes that got my brother and I hired at Apple, Tesla, and Microsoft. So before starting, I wanted to first define what a resume is because it isn't necessarily something that I totally fully understood before coming into college. So a resume is a compilation of relevant experiences that you've done in the past that will lead you towards being successful in the role that you're applying to. Now that means that a resume is not just the same for everything that you apply for, and that it actually shouldn't be. A resume should be different based on the type of role that you're applying for, the company that you're applying to, whether you're applying for an internship or a full-time job, or whether that is for um, some sort of industry-related application or if it's for a graduate school. A resume is highly tailored. It's one page, and if you have any more information that doesn't fit on that page, you can link a GitHub repository or a personal portfolio website, a LinkedIn. And for the tech industry, you can actually add a line at the bottom with what you're interested in doing outside of work because like, they kind of want to get to know who you are as a person and who you'll be in the workplace. And before moving forward into the tips, which are coming up really quickly, uh, I just also wanted to say that the purpose of a resume is to get you to an interview. Starting with five tips, the first tip is that experience matters, but to get an internship, you don't need to already have an internship, and experience is actually the experience, and the value of it doesn't matter based on the brand that's associated with it. And so if you're a college student or a freshman who's kind of worried that you don't have a big name internship yet, that is totally okay. All you want to develop is the skills that you'll use in that internship in different ways through on-campus organizations, research labs, uh, class projects, or personal side projects. The second tip is kind of building off of what I said earlier about tailoring your resume. Tailoring your resume means that you might have a series, uh, like five experiences that you have to choose from to put on your resume and you might select a different set of each of these experiences based on the role that you're applying to. So for a mechanical engineering role, you might pick uh, the solar car racing team that you were involved with, the research lab that you were involved with, and a final project for a manufacturing class that you took in your freshman or sophomore year. But if you're applying for a product management role, you might still include some of those roles, but you would also want to include a leadership experience that you had or a time that you led engineering teams maybe uh, maybe that's in the same type of club, but just a different experience will be highlighted. This also means that when you look at a job description and you see the way that they describe the, the jobs that they're posting online, those words, those keywords from that job description will be integrated into the bullets that you use to describe your past experiences. So that's a very clear that you're a great fit for that role. So tip number three is a really good tip for uh, students who are younger and are looking for internships, and it's about classes that are in progress. So when I was a freshman and I was in my second semester, I would list my first semester courses that I took on my resume under a section called relevant coursework in my education. But then I would include the classes that I was currently taking and put in progress in parentheses. And I think this is really important because Typically, when you're applying to an internship, it's going to be in the fall semester, and so you're only going to have the classes that you've taken in the past to your name, but you're going to be actually completing the internship in the summer. There's about like six to eight months between when you apply to when you actually start the internship, and so I would put classes that I had in progress or that I would be planning to take by the summer internship on my resume, but I would put in parentheses that a class was like actually not completed yet, but would be completed by the time of the internship. Tip number four is that culture fit is important to tech companies. So uh, understand what each company values and use that to help select what extracurricular experiences you're going to be putting on your resume. For Microsoft, their mission is to empower every person and every organization on the planet to achieve more. So if you have some extracurricular where you're using technology to create solutions for maybe overlooked communities, then that's going to be something that Microsoft really vibes with. The fifth tip is to focus on impact in your resume and also to quantify your achievements. Um, so impact means that you're focusing in the bullets on why it meant anything that you did that role. Did you improve the efficiency of a certain process? Did you reduce 
the amount of material that was used in a part that you helped design? Did that part that you helped design improve the speed of a certain um, mechanism? It's important to communicate in terms of impact because that's what an organization is looking for. They're looking to hire you for skills, but to eventually have an impact on their products and their businesses. And a good way to show impact is through quantifying your achievements with numbers, because numbers are pretty uh, objective. You can't argue with them. Now we took the resumes that we both used to successfully get hired and made them a little bit more generic. And we're gonna go through them live so that you understand what the elements of a great tech resume actually look like. As you can see, this is what the resume looks like. It has education at the top with a little bit of contact information, including either a GitHub or LinkedIn, followed by projects. These are things that you've done in your classes or uh, in clubs that you're involved with. Then there's work experience. This is next because if you're a student, you probably don't have much work experience, and so projects are more relevant. And the composition of like this projects sections and the work experience section look pretty similar. And then that's followed by Leadership experience, this is probably going to be one or two different organizations that you're involved with. And then at the very bottom, there's honors and interests. And so these are a little relatively smaller because of their importance to the job search process, but still important to include. Thanks everyone for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I hope that this was helpful in building your resume for breaking into the tech industry.